one form. Polymorphism allows the objects having the different internal structures to share the same external interface. The method overriding, that is uh, overridden methods, allow the Java to support the runtime polymorphism. Now the question is arised, what is the uh, method overriding or overridden methods? In a class hierarchy, when a method in a subclass has the same name and type signature as a method in its superclass, then the method in the subclass is said to override the method in the superclass. When an overridden method is called from within a subclass, it will always refer to the version of that method defined by the subclass. And the version of the method defined by the superclass will be hidden. So uh, this problem can be solved by the dynamic dispatch method. So the dynamic dispatch method is very important because by using this, Java implements runtime polymorphism. So when an overridden method is called through a superclass reference, then Java determines which version of that method to execute is based upon the type of the object being referred to at the time of the call. So thus, this determination is made at runtime. So this is called as uh, runtime polymorphism. So this is all about the polymorphism, overriding methods, and dynamic dispatch method. Now see all these concepts in the program. So here, a class called as a P, which is a superclass. <coughs> and superclass P is created, and there are the two subclasses Q and R, uh, which are the subclasses of the superclass P. Inside the superclass, there is one method call me is defined, and in the call me method, in the call me method, this is just a simple println statement to display the message. Next, <coughs> then class Q is a subclass of superclass B. In the subclass, in the subclass Q, there is also method call me. And there is a simple print and statement to display the message. Here, the call me method is override the method defined in the sub superclass P. Next, there is another class R, which is a subclass of superclass P. And uh, there is also a method call me defined. And there is a simple uh, print and statement to display the message. Here, this call me method is also override the method defined in the superclass P. Next, there is a class dispatch, and in the dispatch class, there is a main method. In the main method, the object of type P is created, and uh, then object of type Q is created, then object of type R is created. Here, we obtain, <coughs> obtain the reference of uh, superclass P. And uh, <coughs> in this statement, we get a reference. Uh, we get a reference of type P. In this statement, ref is equal to P. Ref is equal to P. Then, by using this reference, uh, we can call a call me method, which calls the version of P's superclass P's version of call me method. Then in this statement, ref is equal to Q, Q, we get the reference of Q object, uh, that is Q subclass. Then, by using this reference, we can call the Q's version of the call me. Next, we, in the statement, we get the reference of R object, that is R subclass. And by using this reference, we can call the R's version of call me, that is <coughs> R subclass, call, uh, subclass uh, of call me. Then here the end of the program. Now you can see the output here. So output is inside P's call me, Q's call me and R's call me. Because we get uh, we, we get here the reference of the superclass P, then we can call the every method of the PQR. Understood here? The method overriding 
is used and the dynamic dispatch method is also used okay thank you